Welcome to another episode of Tub Talks. In today's episode, we're talking about five bad habits that we left in 2020. And I want you to notice the language I used here, we left. Not we are leaving, we left. We have to claim that as the past. It's not coming with us moving forward. It's already in the past. So the first one is not making our beds in the morning. I know this seems so simple, but making your bed in the morning is one of the simplest things, the easiest things that you can do to set yourself up for success throughout the day, for productivity, for energy. Um, it just makes you feel really put together. I know that's how I feel when I make my bed. And if I ever have a day that I forget to make my bed in the morning, I feel a little bit just like disheveled the whole day. So. Making our beds in the morning is something we're going to do every day in 2021, or at least we're going to try to do every day in 2021. Another habit we left behind, saying to ourselves, I'll just do it tomorrow. This is brutal for your subconscious. You have to teach your subconscious mind that you're in control and that you're the authority in your life. And when you do things like say, I'll just do it tomorrow, you're showing your subconscious that you're not committed to the growth that you say you want and that you're willing to put certain things off. And that can be really harmful because it leaks into other areas of your life, of your productivity, of your growth. So you really wanna establish yourself as the authority figure to your subconscious. So when you say you're gonna do something, make sure you stick to it. Now, that doesn't mean that you're gonna overwhelm your to-do list and then feel like crap at the end of the day because you couldn't get through 10 things on your to-do list. It means that you're gonna be mindful of the priorities you set for each day and of what you can actually accomplish in the day. So when you do that, you can actually stick to your to-do list and at the same time, teach your subconscious that you're in charge and you are not going to slack on creating the life that you really want. Another one that might seem silly, but it really isn't, is drinking your coffee before water in the morning. This is no bueno. We're not doing that in 2021. We are making sure that we hydrate our bodies first. It's so important that we drink water first thing in the morning, however way you want to drink it. If you want lemon water, if you do an apple cider vinegar mixture, whatever it is that you do to get yourself to consume water in the morning, make sure you do that. And if you need to see the cup of coffee as a reward on the other side of that, then look at it that way. But make sure that you are caring for your body's needs first. So first thing in the morning, we're drinking water, we're hydrating, we're gonna feel glowy, we're gonna feel great all day long because the first thing we did in the morning was take care of our inner body. One hack that I have to get myself to do this is I refill my hydro flask at night before going to bed. So I have a full hydro flask that's really cold water in the morning because I just like cold water. I know some people recommend warm water, but I can't, I need my water ice cold. So I have a hydro flask full of cold water in the morning and when I wake up, it's the first thing that I grab and I drink and it just makes it easy. It's a habit that I have every morning. So I suggest that you do something like that to just make the process easy. Another bad habit that we left in 2020 is wandering away from our to-do list. So I mentioned this when I was talking about not saying we're gonna do something tomorrow and just doing it the day we say we're gonna do it. And it's important that you stick to your to-do list and that's why you prioritize, you set micro goals, which is something I teach in my course from vision board to reality. If you wanna learn more of how to actually create a to-do list that you can follow, um, it'll be in the description down below. So if you wanna sign up for that. Oh, it's really important that we stick to our to-do list because we're showing ourselves a level of discipline that's gonna carry us through our big goals. And so it's really important that you stick to the to-do list. If there's something that you know you cannot get done in one day, break it down into tasks that you can get done. And make sure that you limit your to-do list to about five things, no more than five things, and really stick to that. And the last bad habit that we left in 2020 is not valuing our time. 
it's important that you consider how you're spending your time, how you're using your time. Are you being effective and productive with it? Are you letting time slip away from you without even realizing it? Um, something I realized a long time ago is that I tend to get consumed by TV because I love TV. I love watching TV shows. And so I noticed that if I turn the TV on during the day, I may get sucked into a show and end up hours later having watched a full season and not got anything on my to-do list done. And so I became really intentional about not turning the TV on before 6 p.m. And even later, if it has to be, if I have things that I still need to get done. But I set that as a benchmark for myself so that I am monitoring how I use my hours. I'm being very careful of protecting my time and using it for the things that I want, the growth that I want to see in my life. And unfortunately, sitting and watching TV for 10 hours isn't going to lead me to that growth. So I knew that I had to kind of audit my time and cut that out of my daily schedule. So yeah, I hope that you're on board with me in leaving, I mean, left, having left those bad habits in 2020. So moving forward in 2021 with habits that serve our highest self, that serve the life that we want to create for ourselves. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more tips like this. And be sure to follow I Love Sundays Club on Instagram. It's the community that I've created that's all about building a life where you love Sundays because you're not scared of Mondays. So if you're ready to let go of the Sunday series with me, follow me on there. I share a lot of valuable tips on there as well. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.